We're going to learn about fossils today on Good Morning Vale. Walking Mountains, Peter Sinison, they joins us right now, and we're going to talk about a program you've got on this Friday for the kiddos. Exactly. So our Earth Keepers program, which is every Monday and Friday mornings, um, we have a revolving theme, you know, kind of different area of focus. And this week, um, it's dinosaurs and fossils. And so oh, how fun. I figured, you know, I would bring um, in some fossils and get maybe the folks watching TV um, excited about fossils, and then they could in, okay. in turn bring the little ones to Walking Mountains on Friday. And they'll be digging in, um, you know, pits of dirt and making their own fossils, doing rubbings and really learning what a fossil is and why we find them pretty much all over Colorado. Okay, yeah, let's learn about what you brought. Exactly. So um, Colorado's geologic column, which is kind of the rocks that are exposed and that we can find in Colorado, make up about one third of the Earth's history. So we have a huge amount of history represented in Colorado and we can find fossils from all the different eras all over Colorado because we have so much geologic activity all the uplifts and the smashing of rocks, mountain building, really exposes them. So we can find fossils all over the place. Okay, now this one looks like a shell. A Tell us about this. Exactly, so a couple, you know, um, Colorado's history, it's been a warm, shallow ocean many times. It wasn't always these mountain peaks. So there were shallow oceans um, throughout its history, and we found, we find um, shells, you know, different types of we call them brachiopods. And they're related to our bivalves, you know, our muscles, our clams yep, that we, ha like a clam that we have today. And these are good um, examples of a mineralization fossil where you can see the shell is still there, but the insides have been filled in with a mineral, um, a stone, where then that precipitates out and we're left with that stone holding the shape of the shell. Okay. Wow, so neat to think about how old this is. And then what else did you bring? And then I also brought in some, this is a, Hopefully we can get a good shot of that. This is actually an aquatic plant, um, a crinoid. And you can see these, hopefully you can get a shot of these kind of leafy fronds. These would be held to the uh, seafloor by a stem, similar to what we're seeing here. That would be holding it to the bottom of the ocean floor. And then these fronds are going to be similar to kelp or seaweed, kind of oh, waving, wow. waving in the, um, okay, and then this is waving the in the sea. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. And so this is another example of kind of that replacement fossil where you still see the shape of the, of the, the uh, original artifact that has since been replaced with stone or minerals. And then this is kind of an imprint where you can see when the fronds laid down, sediments were piled on top, and that's how we get these really nice imprints in our sedimentary rocks, our sandstones. Okay, so we'll be learning about this and more three to five-year-olds exactly. this Friday. With a parent, um, and we do it every Monday and Friday, and we have a whole revolving schedule. So next week it'll be something different. Um, and we do that so you can keep coming back because oh, it's a lot so of fun. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, do we need to register in advance for this? Please register in advance. You can do that on our website or give us a call over at the Science Center. Um, the naturalists will be able to help you out. Um, and get you all signed up. Okay, and then also your daily hikes. I know that you're up at Adventure Ridge. We have been snowshoeing like crazy. Um, the cold weather is not keeping people in. So we're doing our snowshoe tours at two o'clock up at the Nature Discovery Center at Eagle's Nest. We're running them at two o'clock at our Science Center here in Avon. And then on Thursday, we get into the back country um, where we take private group, or we take public groups out. Wow. Um, so sign up for that online if you okay. want to get out and see the forest. All right, and that's a good way to stay warm. Do exactly. a little snowshoeing. Okay, Peter, thank you so much. Walking Mountains, such a gem that we have here in the Bell Valley, whether it's for the little kids or the adults, go to their website, walkingmountains.org, get some more details and sign up for some of their programs. They're definitely worth it. We're going to take it outside. We've got Rick Masper braving the elements to let us know what the weather's going to be like for today.